Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and after watching today's video you will exactly know what to do when INAV tells you that it cannot arm because settings are not validated. The information that settings are not validated and you cannot arm, you can get in, well, let's say, two ways. One, it's the information in the INAV configurator on the setup page on the pre-arming checks that settings, well, are not validated. Or on the OSD when also the according message will be the displayed telling you that settings are not validated. But what does it mean that settings are not validated, are not valid and because of this INAV cannot arm? INAV and all multi -E derivatives uh, currently are storing the settings in something called the parameter groups. Skipping up the technicalities, it's just a re region of flash memory of the flight contro controller CPU that stores the, all the settings that are in there. From time to time, especially, well, usually only after upgrading from one version of INAV to the different version of INAV, something might go wrong. For example, when either we made a bug and did not bump one of the settings, or the setting changed, or the configurator properties were not set correctly, and to prevent user from doing something stupid, stupid, not stupid, something dangerous because he armed with a setting that makes absolute no sense and can make troubles. During the startups, INAV just validates if all the settings are within min and max values. On the first glance, there is absolutely no information what goes wrong and you might, well, let's say go through all the pages of the configurator trying to figure out what is wrong, but Luckily, there is a very simple solution to this settings validated or not validated problem. All you have to do is you have to go to the CLI and in the CLI type status. Here, at the end of the status output, you will see which setting value was not valid according to INAV. If there was one, you will only see one. If there were two, you will see two and so on and so on. This is the first step. In my case, the settings that is just wrong is NAV land slow down min alt. Okay, but what are the min and max and just generally allowed values for the settings? You can also check it very, very simple way by typing get and the name of the invalid settings and the configurator, the INAV, will tell you that allowed range is from 50 to 1000, while in my case it was set to 1500. How to fix it? <sighs> Extremely simple. Set the setting that was wrong equal something in the range. So, for example, 900 and now save. After the reboot, look, settings are validated, nothing wrong is happening and you should be able to run, to arm. Go to CLI, let's type status, let's uh, type status and no other settings are invalidated. Now, how to prevent yourself from going into this kind of, um, let's say, problem? My advice number one, when upgrading from one to another version of the INAV, always use full chip erase during flashing. This way, this full chip erase, this way uh, all the settings will be resetted to zero right after an INAV is flashed and all the settings will be valid. Then when you will be reapplying your settings, migrating your settings from the previous version, the configurator will just, the CLI mode will just tell you what went wrong and when it went wrong. It's just simpler to manage this way. The second advice is always to check if the version of the configurator and the version of INAV are actually matching. For example, for the INAV 2.2, there will be configurator version 2.2.0 and for the INAV 2.2, there will be a firmware version called 2.2.0. So, if the versions of the configurator and the firmware, over here, not now, over here, over here, are matching, then 
you the chance of getting into this kind of situations will be much 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 slower okay that's all for today i hope you learned something new and very very useful that's all for today please thumbs up please subscribe and until the next one bye bye